This is going to be a video on how to delete mods from Power World, both for the Steam version and for the Xbox Game Pass version. Now let's go ahead and start with the Steam version, but later on we're going to do as well the Xbox Game Pass version. Now before we proceed, I do want to let you know that some mods will modify your base game and your base uh, save file and you won't be able to delete them at all. So for certain mods, you will actually have to delete your whole game and then delete any leftover after you delete the game and then reinstall the whole game. That's only for certain mods. I recommend that you always read the description of the mods that you're going to install and that you could always go back into those descriptions even after you install the mods. And some of those mods will actually tell you how to get rid of the mod or how to uninstall the mod in case you don't want it anymore. And again, if you're later on going to mod power world, always make a copy of the vanilla game, always make a backup of the vanilla game in case you don't like the mods that you install or in case you can't uninstall any of those mods later on, you could always just get rid of that whole folder and then add back your vanilla game that you have made a copy of. But in this video, I'm going to teach you how to specifically delete some mods that could be deleted. To delete mods from Power World in the Steam version, all you have to do is right click on Power World within your library in Steam and head over to manage and then click browse local files. And that is going to open the installation folder for Power. Once you're in here, you're going to head over to PAL. And you're going to click Quizzes Content and then you're going to head over to Packs. And in here, you could delete the Logic Mods folder as well as the Mods folder, or you could just open this folder and delete the mods manually from here. I have already emptied those folders, so I don't have any issues. I'm just going to leave those folders in there in case later on I want to mod the game. Now, something that I recommend that you do is instead of deleting the mods, just make a copy of it and just put it outside of the game folder, maybe in your desktop or one of your drives or whatever, just put it somewhere else in case you later on want to add the mods back into the game. But that's not just the only thing we're going to delete. Now we're going to head out of this folder and we're going to head over to where it says binary. So we're going to go to the power folder again, head over to pal, click on binaries and click on win64. And in here, we also have another mod folder that we could go ahead and delete or I recommend that you just copy it out this folder, just take it out of here and then delete it from here. Make a copy of it in case later on you want to add it. But that's not the only file we're going to delete in here. We're also going to get rid of the UE4SS. So scroll down and find UE4SS DLL, UE4SS.log and UE4SS settings.ini. And if you have an older version of UE4SS, you might have to get rid of the X input file as well. That will be here. I don't have it because I don't have the older versions. So again, I recommend that you make a copy of it instead of deleting it. Just take it out of here, put it on a drive or whatever in case later on you want to re-add it. But if not, you could just go ahead and select those and delete it. I'm not deleting it. I'm just teaching you guys how to do it. I'm going to leave it here because I don't want to delete my mods right now. But yeah, that's what you will have to get rid of and then you're pretty much ready to launch Power World without mods in Steam. By the way, guys, if you've been trying to create a server for Power World and you've been struggling, don't worry because Apex Hosting got you covered. If you use the first link in the description, not only would you get all these advantages, not only would you get a server that goes instantly online, a server that is hosted completely remote so you don't have to put your IP address at risk, you don't have to put your computer hardware at risk, and your friends could join without any issues, you will also get 25% off your first server just by using that first link in the description. So I'm going to leave that link in there for you guys in case you want to set up a server where you could add your own mods and do anything you want because it's your server. Okay. Once that's said, let's keep going with the tutorial. Now to do this with the Xbox Game Pass version, just head over to your Xbox um, interface in here, find Power World, click on these little three dots in here, click on manage, head over to files and then click on browse. And then over here, click on Power World again, right here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Click on content. Head over to PAL, click where it says content, click on packs, and same thing in here. You're going to empty out your logic small folder and your mod folder. And if you have an extra mod folder in here, you're also going to empty it out. You could delete the whole folder or you could just delete the mods from within the folder. I recommend that you leave this folder in here because, well, if the folder is empty, you're not going to have any mods loaded into the game. And you also will keep that folder in there in case later on you want to add packs or mods into the game. Again, I recommend that you make a copy of this in case you want to re-add them later on. But as well as we did with Steam, we're also going to delete the other mods, which are the UE4SS mods. So head out of this folder and head over to binaries as well. Just go back into your Power folder, click on content, pal, uh, binaries in here, and then click on WinGDK. You're not going to have this Win64 folder in here. I have it because a certain mod that I added added that folder, but you're not going to have it most likely. So just go ahead and open this WinGDK folder and then in here, delete the mods folder and your EUE4SS files as well. If you don't know which files are the UE4SS files, 
you could just go back into this video a little bit and you will see those files when I deleted it from the Steam or when I found them in the Steam. So yeah, same thing in here, just delete your mods folder and your UE4SS files. And you could also just make a copy of the mods folder before you delete it in case you later on want to re-add it to the game. That has been everything from me on how to delete mods from Power World. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.